So, Sean, so far the film has stuck to fairly medieval stuff. You got your, you know, swords and shields and your black magic and kings and all that, but, like, I think we're missing something. Archers? No, we got some of those. Beards? No, no, we got tons of those. I got it. What? Ninjas. Yes. That's it. So, using the good old kitchen sink routine, we get ninjas for some reason. The Krug attack, but thinking that shields aren't cute, they get blasted by arrows. What the? Tremors? Zombies? Krug? This is Krug, this is dirt. This is Krug, and this is dirt. Got it? Krugs? Krugs, it doesn't make sense! You might have thought his head would explode, but Sean just gets new hats when he gets mad. The battle starts and... Did that Krug just tackle a guy? Yeah, I guess he did. We then get the king's daughter in the middle of the field, realizing her Google Maps has not led her to the battle. One of the Krugs shows up, and a chase ensues. Back at the battle, the... more battling occurs. I'm getting tired. I know these swords are really heavy. What <laughs> the fuck, gravity! Wow, is it me, or is the music following the fight perfectly? After destroying the weakest shield in history, it looks like our heroes are outnumbered. But don't worry, we got ninjas. Ninjas! So now, here we have one of the greatest scenes of all time. All time. Somehow, the Krug have built a catapult, so they hurl horrible special effects at our heroes. But then they run out! So what do they do? This. <laughs> oh look! We ran out of chips! Guess I'll just eat my own hand! <laughs> More fighting, more arrows. Do we get a cut? So they finally realize that Leota is controlling the head Krug and throw everything at it. Arrows, ninjas, Lillard's acting, nothing can stop it. Until Farmer. <laughs> Lillard then shoots the king with an arrow who then continues to fight. Farmer then says another, Fuck you! to gravity and kills more Krug. He then gets on the underside of a horse and kills another head Krug. <laughs> you have won nothing but time. Who is he talking to? The battle ends and Lillard talks to his troops about taking over the castle when he runs into the king's daughter. Faster than you can say Sam Raimi, more vines show up and take away Lillard's cohorts. Lillard then rides away only to be captured by bad special effects and lesbian Amazons. Now enter hell. Where Hellboy, long haired girly fuck, and Farmer's wife have been taken too. Hellboy starts an uprising only to be killed. Girly man tries to escape but finds himself outnumbered. King Reynolds is now on his deathbed and has a conversation with Farmer. He then discusses the qualities of being a king. Wisdom is our hammer. Script writing is our weakness. Once he starts talking about being a king, he never shuts up. Because I am king. Because I'm expected to know about the land. Just as you will be. As long as there are kings. As long as there is land. They will fight over it. Battles for the power lands. The king then talks himself to death and we return to the battlegrounds. <clears throat> there, Beardo informs the king's soldiers that they have Lillard. The soldier then challenges Lillard to a duel. A duel! 
How lovely. Lillard then attacks from behind and another boring sword fight occurs. God, Lillard looks crazy. I guess he's thinking about treason. TREASON! Lillard is finally defeated, but before he's killed, word comes that the king is dead, making Lillard the new king. LONG LIVE THE KING! HIP HIP HUZZAH! HIP HIP HUZZAH! But before Lillard can say, HIP HIP HUZZAH! A third time, Gimli informs everyone that Farmer is now king. He even gets a name. Son of Conreed. Camden Conreed. Not bad. Leota, not able to properly build his IKEA furniture, talks with Farmer's wife. After realizing he can use her as a bait, he remembers a joke mid sentence. <laughs> He'll come for you. He also informs her that she's carrying Farmer's son, which he finds extremely erotic. You're carrying his son. They burn the king and hatch a plan to kill Leota. The king's daughter joins in along with a lesbian Amazon. Back in Leota's lair, Leota informs Farmer's wife that there are still 20 minutes left in the film. Kill me! We're with you, sister. Then, like a woman on her period, Leota creates a thunderstorm. The final battle starts, and the Krugs still don't think shields are cute. The heroes then throw some styrofoam rocks, but the Krug continue to attack. Farmer and crew reach the secret entrance to Leota's lair, and Gimli leaves to confront him. I can't reason with evil, Merrick. But I should at least be able to distract him. I know a really good joke! Sick of actually fighting, they let crappy special effects do the work. Outside, Farmer and Amazon Chick pull off the stupidest plan ever. They throw a rope across, grab onto it, swing off, and grab onto a cliff. Awesome. Back inside, Gimli is hit by sword dust, and Leota talks about power. In my kingdom, there will be no word for madness. We shall simply call it... Power. Oh, the same thing Bush did during his presidency. Farmer makes it inside, and Leota smirks with glee. The king's daughter then special effects herself into the castle and sees a dying Gimli. Gimli realizes she's magical too and supercharges her with more special effects. Farmer finally reaches his wife and encounters Leota. That wasn't gay. Leota then says a bunch of shit that nobody really cares about. You gonna fight? I'll talk me to death. No, that's the king's job. Oh, how I love their fight. First, we get boring fighting, then a Matrix ripoff, then Leota bounces off the floor like a basketball. So realizing knowledge is power, Leota conjures up books to throw at our hero. Farmer gets trapped by books, but Farmer's wife stabs Leota. Farmer then gets freed and then stabs him himself, thus destroying the Krug. Film died. So, even though the movie sucked, at least we still get free t-shirts. That's it for today's review, but if there's any other, you know, terrible movies that you can think of, please leave us comments and uh, we'll try to review them for you. <laughs>